Oh, it goes for some massive stunts, you cheeky get you! <laughs> but we've decelerated. What? What the fu- Oh, we're gonna- Is Gemini Titan gonna win this? I'll read everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Alive! Well, we've had updates, lots of updates, lots of things to talk about, updates in the world! How is it out there? Is everyone still alive? Hello! <laughs> so, we are coming, or at least this is uh, today, Monday, um, because on Mondays I am making, or going to try to make it, a Jurassic World Monday day? I used to do, uh, like, quite a lot of videos of Jurassic World The Game and Jurassic World Alive, but I thought, why not just have one day kind of dedicated to both of them? So, as of today, tomorrow, Jurassic Park Builder is officially closing. Uh, no more. Will we be able to look at Giga? Oh god, oh god. Oh no! I'm terrible at my iPad! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! <laughs> well, uh, I hope you have dotted as much carbon emmers as you possibly can. Um, I've got 2,100. Um, we can now actually take a look at this week's roster! Which is pretty much the same, as you can see. Uh, as last week. In fact, it looks recycled, uh, except for there's some differences with the incubators and the scents, because we had the stegosaur, the health tank scents. Um, who was a stegosaur? Order. Anyway, so Monday to Wednesday, we have Dinocheris, Gallimimus, Velociraptor, and Phosphorus. Again, these are all the same as last week. Uh, Wednesday, Friday, Delta, Klinikin, and Orthomimus. However, Klinikin last week was taken out. Don't know why. Maybe Ludia was uh, just trying to work from home. <laughs> and I just forgot to add it. And uh, on the Saturday to Sunday, Blue Prosphotomus and Darwinopterus, the yellow Yoshi. Green Becky, sorry, I should say, not yellow. I'm just look at it, it's yellow. <laughs> um, so Blue again from last week was removed. And we had Concavenator and something else. I can't, it was uh, Ragisaurus. It's kind of recycled because we've got Klinikin, which is the one you're going to want to go for. And then Blue, which is the one you're going to want to go for as well. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, we've got on the Friday, a incubator that gives the Spinosaurus Gen 2, I think it is, which is a really good one to have because you need that to uh, level up something. I can't remember what it is, but we've had so many with so many good updates So the one that's uh, starting right off the bat the one that's affected probably everybody the most is The fact that the range for the drone has been updated so for regular uh, people who aren't VIP It went from 150 meters or something to 200 meters and for VIP people it went from 200 and odd 20 meters or something to 266 meters allowing me and everybody else just to be able to dart everything and collect supply drops which is the most important things uh, to help towards missions as we can see if we have a look at our alliance missions we're one hour and a half away from getting that rank two or sorry rank 10 i should say but i'm not too fussed i'm not too fussed everybody who's contributed you've done an amazing job um but the the rewards for this one isn't diplodocus so there's no real need to really push yourselves um but ankylosaur i guess is all right the elasmotherium is all right and scolosaurus as well which is not too bad also got a turtle just too far away there in the distance this guy has been spawning uh recently i don't think it'll be spawning too much uh, it, it seems to be just an event at the moment. So it's spawning a lot and then it'll disappear. So this is your, your best chance to get it to level 20, which is what you need to get the unique creature. So I could get level 18, but then I got 19 and 20. Really what people are going to run into is a lack of coin. We're going to start running out of that soon. So before we get into the dinosaurs and doing some amazing battles, uh, we may as well just crank out this rare incubator to see what we get. Because I got some new dinosaurs um, and possibly a new anticipated best unique ever uh hopefully i'll be getting because uh, i have one pop at it and we only need i think 30. now a lot of you will know that is a big ask especially for a unique creature it's very rare that you manage to get more than 10 or 20 with unique creatures and if you do that saves you a lot of dna and a lot of money um but I'm enjoying the game at the moment. Uh, the Giga Scents that have been going around are really, really helpful. All I'm doing is I'm downstairs, I leave my iPhone on, I'm painting, and if there's something good that pops up, fantastic. I'll get it. Otherwise, I'll just continue painting. And you can kind of do that, you know, if you're quarantined, wherever you are, um, it's something that you can do. And it's weird because I feel at this point, 
Pokemon Go should be heavily competing uh, with Jurassic World Alive. But for whatever reason, they're not really trying. Um, and Jurassic World Alive is just a much better game to play at the moment. Because they've, they've done so many really, I mean, maybe they won't last forever, but really decent things to keep the player base active. Increasing the drone range, um, giving GigaSense, which is, in any normal circumstances, kind of game-breaking. Um, but it just allows people to farm for the Alliance missions. Sanctuaries are still a thing that are going. Um, and I don't know what it's like with Pokemon Go, but if you have a gym, you have to go to that gym uh, in order to like level it up and stuff. But I don't think you can do that. You know, if you're quarantined, you can't go to the gym. Um, both of them. <laughs> but I've got Sean T for me. He's a good man. He keeps me, he keeps me physically fit. <laughs> um, so, it, and with Jurassic World Live, they're doing so much. I think Pokemon has, uh, Go has never said anything about COVID. That they've said something about, you know, that th there's a spring event where you can get scents or you can get, you can buy Pokeballs, a one-off. But every day on this game, you can buy darts. Every day, you can sit down and put out a Giga scent. Just so much better. Oh, oh that would have been so much nicer to have been Amargosaurus. Oh, there it is. Oh, God damn, I got it mixed up. Anyway, anyway, well, how is the team looking? Well, it's not too bad. We also have, thank you. I can't remember who uh, joined us, but we have a level 20 sanctuary uh, shared by Slogo. Good, he's got a little alliance with another one. A certain snake boy, a hey, pop. So here it is. Uh, we are on Spino Constrictor. Now I got a level 60 pop with this thing. Actually, I need to, you know it is 30. Fingers crossed. Really tight. <laughs> we can get this. We can actually get a Spino Constrictor with it now. Literally now. Are you ready? Come on. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. <laughs> oh, you buggy. <laughs> <it's>, ah! <laughs> so close. So close to getting Spinal Constrictor. I knew it, I had a feeling it was gonna be level 10. But we have some new creatures as well, as well as some uniques that I've been really, I noticed I had a lot of DNA to fuse and I was like, well, what am I doing? I might as well see if I can change my team at all. Maybe there's a better team out there that I can use. So finally, I got the Carboticeratops unlocked. Now it's important that we just unlock these creatures. Um, because if there's a tournament, and we'll get into the tournaments, the recent one that just went, um, and in fact is still going, I've protested it. I have not participated in it. Don't give a damn. Uh, and I'll tell you why in a second. But first, we'll just get these things. Uh, so the other one is the Kerotopolucus. This thing looks really horrible. <laughs> It's like a little skeleton face. The new creature, the uh, Arche Archaeotherium, that's the one. It's related to the Deodon. I can't remember if it's an ancestor or a relative, like a future evolution of it, is everywhere at the moment. So I've got 37,000 of it, of course, and I'm, do I'm trying to dot it as much as I can. Um, is there anything else that we can kind of go for? Yeah, Mammotherium and the other one. Let me scroll down, damn it! Uh, okay, well, hey, we'll give a pop for this. May as well try for the Mammotherium, because this, of course, is a hybrid. Um, I was going to say, if I get a 30 now, I'll be annoyed. <laughs> uh, so we're getting closer. The Mammolania, this thing. Some people have actually unlocked it. Pokefodder has it. I don't know how he managed it. Um, but kudos to him. He must have been just farming for the Mammoth DNA constantly. Um, in order to get it, and must have got some lucky pops, because, I mean, I'm close to getting the, uh, the Spino Constrictor, but Titanoboa has been out way longer than Melania, the turtle. So, he's done a really good job, that. I don't know how he did it. But, for my unique team, uh, I have options. Now, I, ha I faced against a Dina Cheris that was level 30, and I could get level 30 if I wanted to. But it was boosted. And the problem is with this game is boosts. And this is the problem with the tournament. So here we go. Ends in one hour. It looks good, right? And now Ludia are starting to introduce this. Uh, and I didn't participate in the other tournament. That's why it's only 89. Uh, but that was a good one. That was a decent one. This one, however, uh, you click play. It's like, oh, yeah, you can use your any commons. But it allows mods, I'm pretty sure. Or at least that's what I've been told. Now, the problem is, I faced off in a regular battle against somebody who had a level 30 T-Rex. This was in a regular battle in a Gyrosphere Depot. He had a level 30 T-Rex, level 30 Raptor, and a level 30 Indo uh, Irritated Gen 2. 
which is fine. I guess you can level those up if you want to. But the, t the Irritated Gen 2, a dinosaur nobody ever uses, had max health. 6,000 and odd health. It was in the yellow, which means it's maxed. I couldn't... Who is spending their mods, or boost, sorry, on these common creatures? It's for these tournaments. And who has enough boosts to waste them on an Irritated Gen 2? More and more, it just gets paid a win, and... I don't think tour tournaments should not have mods in them. Or boosts. I keep on getting confused with Jurassic World again. Tournaments, no boosts. Don't allow it. I like boosts. I get enough of them in Gyrosphere Depot. I get enough people who have maxed a creature and I get swooped. I don't need to deal with that in a tournament. I think tournaments should just be for battling and strategy. That's all it should be. Don't put boosts in there. I know, Ludi, you want to make money and you want to just get people to spend as much money on books as possible. We saw it slowly happen and now, you know, it was like every couple of days would you'd be able to buy stat boosts. And, but then now it's every day. Every day you can do it. So they're just like, okay, well, if you want to give us loads of money and break the game for yourself and to annoy a lot of uh, people who, you know, fans who play the game, legit, uh, you can do that. I feel like tournaments should stay like that. I, d I don't like being beaten by, oh, it's, especially with how I didn't get beaten by the Irritated Gen 2 who had a maxed, and the same with the T-Rex, I had some maxed uh, mods on it, or boosts. but it's just like, wow, wow, who, 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 like, out of all the creatures you normally use, your normal uniques, you get, you can boost these guys to max, what, that's crazy, um, you must be just spending thousands of bucks on them. But let's see, what do we get in this legendary or oh, epic incubator? Well, what's it gonna be? <gasps> if you give me something like, I don't know, Concavenator, I will be so annoyed. Or Baryonyx, don't give me Baryonyx. Okay, I'll take that. But I would have rather have had that to be in the, the uh, Brachiosaurus because I'm so close, so close to getting Ardentus Maxima to level 28. This is my team at the moment, but I'm tempted to switch some things in because I have this guy. I have Ulrika Spix. I have 977 DNA of that. I think that's enough to get to level 25. The only problem, the only thing that stops me from putting this in my team is boosts. That's it. And that's the problem that this game is facing. Ludi, you're doing great with the drones. You're doing great with the Giga Sense. But boosts have stopped people from being able to try other dinosaurs. Uh, like, this is level 25. It's better than my Gryposuchus. But because my Gryposuchus already has boosts in it, it makes this redundant. Because it doesn't matter how what level it is, unless it's like max, it can't compete. And I have this dinosaur, I have of course, this one, the Digosaurus. Deoragosaurus. There we go, Deoragosaurus. Um, and I can get that to level 23. But again, without adding health boosts and stuff to it, it's going to be outsped by things it shouldn't be outsped by. Like a Thordor or something like that. I think it's probably, it shouldn't be quicker than a Thordor. But anyway, you know what I mean? It just, it kind of, root, it spoils the fun in a way. Gemini Titan! I had loads of people, um... Oh, we can we can do five boosts of it. Oh, no, we can't. No, <laughs> stop that. No, we'll do a couple. Um, people were like, Beavers, this is the best dinosaur in the game. Oh, we got a 50 for it. Okay, I'll take that. I'm happy with it. People have said this is the best dinosaur in the game. And after looking at it, I can kind of see why. If you put boosts on it, for a start, it's got 110 speed, which is already outspeeding stuff like Trichosaurus and Thordor off the bat. But of course, those things are gonna be boosted. So if you use this, you need a boosted. Um, but we got Decelerating Rampage. So already right off the bat, you can do two times damage. Or you can go for Definite Shield Advantage, which removes Cloak Dodge Shield effects, which is very good against Indo Gen 2. Um, it gains a shield for 50% and attack 1.5 bypass. So already does 1.5 damage. You've got the immunity, which is so, so needed, especially for Indoraptor Gen 2 and just the meta that we're facing at the moment. Uh, Into Destruction is a good sort of payoff for something like maybe you want to distract the Thordor. Um, nullifying Strike as well is just good for stuff like Pro Ceratomimus that might go for evasive stance or anything that goes for evasive stance or has buffs. Um, so I can see why people think this is a really good dinosaur. And it is. I just need boosts. That's, that's the problem I'm just facing with this entire game. It's like, yay, I got this thing. I can't flip and use it unless I just want to just save up a load of boosts. And that's kind of what I'm doing at the moment. It's just saving up a load of them. Uh, but I would love to, I mean, already 5,000 health. 
But there's something that's so tempting about adding a health boost to my Ardennes Maxima that already has 7,000. A hundred. We got a hundred there for Gemini Titan in three. Oh, sorry. Four. <laughs> I think it was. Was it? No. Two, four, six. No, it was three. It was three. We got a hundred for that. That's really, really good for a unique creature. Uh, putting it up to level 23. I'm, I'm really... The thing is, right, because everyone's using Interrupted Gen 2, there's no real point to using it if you know, and I'll, I'll explain. So, because everyone's using Interrupted Gen 2, what was more important in your team is having a counter to Interrupted Gen 2. Not exactly having it, because when everybody starts using it, everyone starts using the counter to it. So, even though it's tempting, and we got blue coming out this weekend, I haven't put any boosts on this thing, I don't think, and I don't think I will. I don't know, I don't know. It, it's it's kind of needed for just Trichosaurus, for Thordor, and for any other creatures like Gripos, just stuff like that. It's just, it's good for. Things that it can't counter is stuff like Magnetator, uh, Urla Dominus. I am very tempted for Gemini Titan. I am very tempted. But against most of my other creatures, it can't compete, especially at the level that it's at, and it has no boosts, and you, I hear you saying, Well, boost it, James, you've got to, you've got a health and attack one. But is it worth it? Is it? I mean, it, oh, in the long run, yes, but it means that I can't, you know, my Ardennes Maxima, that is tier 11, I could keep on going and just try and have a maxed creature, or I could put it on Trichosaurus, something that I'm going to use a lot. And, you know, Gemini Titan is this dinosaur that you're not going to see many Diplodocus DNA at all. So it's going to stay on level 23 for a long time. Whereas Ardennes Maxima, you know, I put on the Giga Scent the other day, three epics in a row. T-Rex, Spino Gen 2, and a Brachiosaurus. That Brachiosaurus allowed me to max up my Ardennes, Ma Ardennes Maxima. So if I put a health on my Ardentus, it's actually better because then I have more of a chance of leveling up, more chance of getting the health higher and higher. And at the moment, everybody's using Ardentus Maxima. But anyway, guys, enough of me ranting. Uh, also, go down in the description below to get your free 50 bucks. Yeah, I, I know, I know, I know, that's why you come here, I know. We might as well open up this because we'll get some more RAM. And also, don't spend your bucks. If you are gonna play this game, don't spend your 30 bucks or any bucks on buying these things outright. Don't do it, it's not worth it. For a start, if you just speed up your three hour incubator, you get more boosts with this. I think this is common knowledge, but you get more boosts. And not only that, you get, um, I think you, did, did you get coin? Well, you got darts and you got DNA. So it's kind of worth it. Hold on guys, let me just get all the thingies. <laughs> However, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna switch out Pro Ceratomimus for Gemini Titan. There we go, we got a full team of uniques. And I'm really tempted actually just to boost it a little bit because it kind of needs it. And um, everybody says it's a really good dinosaur. I faced it a couple of times. Most of the time, it does seem to just get wrecked by a Thordor or a Trichosaurus or something. The only problem is it has no armor, but it is immune. It's, it's a blooming toughy because you've also got this thing. And I don't really bump into these guys too often. Like the, um, the cooler sutures, I never bump into. But these guys aren't needed for anything else. So we may as well do like 10 pops of this. So 110, so that's two fuses for a Gemini Titan. And we'll do one more. So we can at least probably get it when once we get the Podicus DNA. Wow, come on, really? <laughs> Damn it! That was so bad! Oh god! But at least then we can kind of, you know, give uh, Gemini Titan some pops when we do get the Plodocus DNA. So without further ado, let's do some battles! Will we get it? Is the question. I think we will. Oh, we do! Oh, oh no, there's nothing good. Nothing good to start with. <laughs> uh, because. I'm gonna say that it's either gonna be Thordor or Ardennes Maxima that's gonna start. Usually it's Ardennes Maxima. Um, I don't know who's good. I don't know who's good to start with. I mean, I think all of them can be killed by Ardennes Maxima in like two hits. We might get lucky, maybe it's not Ardentus. Oh, a pirate hit. Is it faster? Ha <laughs> ha! It's not faster because I am a hundred and. 
52 speed. And this is, you know, I could put speed on other creatures, but if I didn't, uh, my magnetator wouldn't be that fast. And if we look, 150 I'm against. So because I spent just one mod, just one boost, sorry. My magnetator goes first and basically wins. Um, so I'm gonna go for a big hit here. Now the reason why I'm going for a big hit here and not the distracting is because in case he puts in his Trico or something, I can at least nullify it. He might put Ulla Dominus in. I wouldn't be surprised if he puts Ulla Dominus in because he could uh, like set up, go for a, a speed boost and then, oh, ooh, this is what I was worried about. I was worried about this thing. Now he can go for, woo, yes, he can kill me, he can kill me. Now he's gonna go for a slowing. Now, ooh, it's slow, yes. Oh, we're gonna use Gemini Titan against this thing. Yeah, so we might as well do some damage. I mean, I could have switched out, but I'm all right. I'm all right. And yeah, look, a crit. 2,600, that would have been on Gemini Titan. Uh, so what do we go for here, guys? Driver Switches is actually not too bad uh, because I can go for uh, probably, he, go he goes first, right? So this is my plan. I'll go for Shielding Strike because he's just going to go for a double hit damage. That's what he's going to do straight away. He's going to go for his Rampage. Then I can get my shield up. Now, on his next turn, that puts him in a, a bit of an annoying situation because he he can either go for decelerating Impact. Oh, he goes for Invincibility. Interesting. Okay. Why, though? <laughs> Why? I mean, I guess. I guess it's not. I guess he's going to destroy my shield. That's what he's wanting to do. Uh, but either way, uh, I'm just going to regenerate a lot of my health on this next turn. Uh, whew, thank God I didn't get a crit. I'm so used to Adonis Maxima getting a crit every time. So there's rendering. Boom. And now he's left with no choice but to attack me again. Uh, and that's going to kill him. So I'm just going to go for my regeneration here. Because I, I would die. There's no point. Do I have armor? I think I do have him. 20% armor. That's so good for Griffinleaf. So there we go. Back 2,200 health. We're going to lose probably another 2,000 here. Is it about 2,000? 1,600. But we killed him. That's good. Gripo, you did something. I'm so proud of you. Oh my god. Yes, you did. Kills it. Kills it. Just walks by. Right. Oh. Oh. An Indoraptor Gen 2. Is it boosted? Oh, yes. Well, 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 well. Right. What can he do? He could. I don't know what he could do. Yeah, Cautious Strike, I guess. I guess. Boring, but it works. This feels like there's no strat, really, with Indo Gen 2. It's just, oh, well, I guess I'll just go for Cautious Strike until I can rampage him. Or better yet, just keep on going for Cautious Strike. Because that's what he's going to do now. He's going to go for Cautious Strike. Um, now, what do I do here? Because I could risk Gemini Titan here. Now, he goes for a... Oh, Decelerating could be pretty good, actually, here. Huh, let's go for it. Gemini Titan, here we go. A debut. Right, what do we do? We could go for a slowdown. We could go for a slowdown. I think we should do that. Let's go for a slowdown, decelerate. Now, I've never used this thing before, so excuse me if I'm not using it properly. <laughs> but let's try it. So decelerating, boom! Right, now he's slower. Now it's up to him what he does. Now, what does this one do? Uh, does it get rid of cloak? It does, so if he does go ev evasive, he's dead. Now, worst case scenario, he switches in Draco Ceratops and I'm dead. Or he switches in, I don't know, Trico. I think that would kill me. If he has a Trico, I'm dead. So he's going to switch, obviously. Ooh, an Indoraptor. Okay. Hmm, is this thing a sped boost? 140. It's not faster than my, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Ehrlichosaurus. But, oh, this is going to be, this is going to be interesting. So he's just switched in. He can't kill me, actually. Because he doesn't have his defense shattering rampage, so we might as well just go for decelerating. Oh, he goes for his evasive stance, you cheeky get you! <laughs> but we've decelerated. What? What the f- Oh, we're gonna- Is Gemini Titan gonna win this? Do we get to do that one again? Yes! We did it! Gemini Titan wins! No wonder this thing's the best thing! Yeah! <laughs> Suck it! Killed an Indoraptor! And Indoraptor Gen 2! Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm so happy! I'm so happy! You guys! You guys! Oh, you said it was really good! And new high score! Mwah! I love you! Wow! Yes! Oh, that feels so good for everyone who's got beaten by Indoraptor Gen 2.
That goes out to you. Wow. Okay. You know what? I think this guy's earned some boosts. I think I'm just going to put some attack and... Now, there's a good calculator out there, and I'll put it as like a battle calculator. I'll put that in the description below as well if you need that. Um, and it allows you, I think if it's a browser, it might just be app. <laughs> but either way, uh, you can Google it. It's uh, you, you, you put in the dinosaur that you want to use, and you can put in what stats and speed boosts you want, or, you know, that sort of thing. But Gemini Titan... First debut killed. It would have killed two. It would have killed Indoraptor Gen two, but it killed an Indoraptor. Oh, that's so good! It's got good attack actually, for level twenty three. Oh, that was good. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Um, click on the description. Well, click on the description. The link in there below, and get fifty free bucks. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye. Oh, that was good. That was good.